distance look like mountains. I'm sorry guys, I'm weak. I just couldn't do it anymore. I can't be vegan anymore. I, uh, I had to cook some ground beef. <laughs> Psych! It is Beyond Meat, Beyond Beefy Crumbles. Come on now. Come on now, you know better. Mmm. We're pretty much making that tonight. <laughs> Actually, we're making goulash. And in our goulash, I've got onions, garlic, I've got some mushrooms, the beefy crumbles, uh, lots of seasonings, and some corn, because I like corn. We'll put some tomatoes in this, and some tomato basil sauce, and mmm. So yummy. I can't wait to grab. Oh yeah, and I forgot, I'm gonna add some Italian sausage by Tofurky. These are really good, I think. Um, I'm gonna add these into the pan in a little bit, and I'm gonna add some tomatoes and some tomato based sauce. These are my favorite, this is my favorite sauce. Go get you some. Go get you some of this, if you can find it. I had to go to like two different places to find it tonight, but I found it. <laughs> hey guys, I got some stuff in the mail. I just wanted to show you that while dinner is cooking. I uh, was joking earlier. Seriously, I'm never, ever, 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 ever going to cook meat again. Meat. Animals. Never. That's just not going to happen. Not going to happen. Anyway, anyway, our vacuum broke, so we had to buy a new one. And it was an older kind, so we're kind of, I don't know, scavengers that way. Because my husband took the whole thing apart and <laughs> pulled out pieces to use for, like, different things. We're weird. Yeah. But anyway, there were copper wire inside uh, there was copper wire inside of the motor and I got a ton of it and this is good quality too. This is actually decent and it's very soft so it's, I'm, I'm assuming it's called dead soft um, and it's really pretty. It's almost like the antique copper that I just bought from Parawire. You see the color. It's really pretty. So I'm excited that I actually have this going on now and uh, for free basically because well it was given to us anyway so also last night I made my first official pendant um, not too happy I mean I'm happy with it but I'm not too happy with it there are still some areas that need work but it is a one of the little pink titanium uh, quartz and I just have it wrapped this is the front so when it lays on your your chest it looks like this so then if you turn it on the side you have that little thing come on focus a little bit better you have that little swirl on the side and then on the back to stabilize it because if if it was sitting like this on your skin this part would just dangle down because it's drilled so um, I put this on the back to stabilize it um, you know I wrapped it around here and here and so it stays you know in place and doesn't dangle um, and then here here is the other side so yeah, just a little. And then the bail is just kind of a twisted version. Um, this is from this this weave right here on the side. And then the, the bail, like the way that it's done is from, her name is Oksana Crafts and I will link her video right there that, that I learned the technique from. Um, and the bail and the way that it, she did it on like a larger pendant. And um, I wanted to do it on this, so this is my result. Um, and I like it, but like I said, it, it needs some fine tuning, I think. And I can only get better. So anyway, let's jump into the mail. So um, my dinner is cooking. And um, get this over with real quick. So this one, I don't know what this is. I'm still waiting on stuff from, from Wish. Um, I'm still waiting on stuff from eBay. And I'm still waiting on stuff from the Ring Lord. So this looks like my black tourmaline. Yep, I ordered black tourmaline. Yeah. So this is black tourmaline. I believe it was like 50 or 100 grams. I don't remember. You really can't see. There you go. It's just black tourmaline. Um natural rough rocks and ooh it's dusting everywhere so um there's that <laughs> so that's another ebay purchase that actually arrived and what else what else what else what else 
The Ring Lord! Yay! Okay, so this should be... Um, the package doesn't seem as big as I thought it was going to be. So I'm hoping that I have enough to do the projects that I want to do. Um, but I don't know. Um, but it was relatively inexpensive to get um, some, some rings, so I'll probably end up repurchasing some more. But I have uh, um, two projects coming that I need, or two projects that I need to do. First, I got my, so there's 750. These are 20 gauge, 1 8 inch rings, and there's 750 rings in here. Okay, so that is a lot. <laughs> then I got. Um, these are 20 gauge 332nd rings, 3 32nds of an inch. These are the ones that are going to go um, around the um, titanium quartz that I have and around another one like this for someone who made my logo. My niece made my logo, so I'm making her a pendant in exchange. So that's these, and there are 750 rings in here as well. Um, and then I found these pretty little, if you hear any weird noises, it's the dogs, per usual found these pretty little Celtic bead, um, let me take one out. They're basically Lynx, Luna, they're basically little Celtic, Celtic knot Lynx, they're super cute, just a little Celtic knot, um, like you can make earrings with them, you can make, um, a bracelet with them, I don't know, there's not that many, I think there's like a dozen in here. But got those and then what I'm super excited about is I got green adventurine beads I got amethyst beads and I got oh I don't remember what these are Hold on, let me see. these are azurite azurite beads. So these are all six millimeter beads, I believe. Yes, they're all six millimeter beads and these will go for various different projects. <laughs> Luna. These are Sor Sorovsky Crystal. Um, this is Fire Opal and Jet Bicones. And these are basically going to be, um, I'm going to make these, I'm going to make some earrings with these kind of Halloween-y kind of earrings with them. Yeah, I think that is everything that I'm waiting on besides like eBay. Now everything else is here except for eBay. And yeah, I am going to get started on some chainmail projects and right now I'm going to go do dinner. So I will talk to you guys in the next one and bye.